For years, we've been able to sort of hack together a system where we use a Facebook event to post a Facebook Live, but it's never been very slick. Now they are integrated. So I'm gonna walk through hosting Facebook events on Facebook Live step-by-step step in this video. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where we help overwhelmed business owners become streamlined entrepreneurs by helping them eliminate 50 to 80% of their social media workload while increasing results. If that sounds like something you'd like in your business, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified when we release another helpful video each week. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with a boy wizard. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to host Facebook events with Facebook Lives. It took them years, but finally, Facebook put events and lives together and created a great way for us to use them. Also, at the end of this video, if you're having other issues with social media, uh, not enough reach, not enough engagement, not enough sales, I put together this free guide, the Social Media Quick Fix Guide. It's normally $19, but I've decided to offer it to my YouTube audience for free, and I'll tell you how to get that at the end of this video. Now, I'm gonna walk through this in one of my Facebook groups, but if you're doing this on a business page, it should be very, very similar. The great thing about doing this with a Facebook event instead of just scheduling a Facebook Live is the Facebook Live notifications are not very reliable, but people do get notified a lot better about events. Plus, they can also invite their friends in a very casual way to your event. So first thing you would do is go to your events page, whether it's on your business page or on your group, and I'm gonna hit Create Event. Creating the event, of course, is the first part. This is not an in-person event, obviously. It is a Facebook Live, so we're gonna click Online. Give your event a title. So I'm just gonna call this Facebook Live Event Demonstration for now. Choose the date, wherever or whenever that might be, and the time if you wanna add an end date and time. This is all stuff that's standard to all Facebook events. Then you can do that as well. So we'll make this a 30-minute event. Then I come down here and I'm gonna hit Next. And here is where you're gonna choose Facebook Live, because if your event was somewhere else on Zoom or anything like that, then you would have an external link, or if they were gonna get the link via email, then you would hit other. But we're doing this obviously as a Facebook Live event. I click on that. So here, as you can see, we're gonna be able to go live directly in the event. So that's what's so helpful because you can link directly to the event. So people are like, well, where's the Facebook Live gonna happen? Where, where's the link? Well, you'll have an event for your link all set. So we do that, then we hit next again. You can add a description. There we go, I'll put that note in so people know in case this goes live, people are like, oh, I wanted to go to that. Then I'm gonna hit next. You can always add a cover photo or you can choose an illustration. I like to add a cover for any Facebook event because it makes it much more eye-catching. So you could choose one of these graphics or you can upload your own cover photo if you want. Since this is just a quick tutorial, I will just uh, click on one of these. Sure, why not? Once your image is there, you can also drag to reposition it if it is a size that allows for that. When you click on event settings, this is just if you wanted to add co-hosts from your group. And then this box right here, this is if you wanna invite all of the members of your group. Now, depending on the size of your group, you may or may not see this. If you have a big group, like my free Facebook community, I don't get to do this. I can only invite my personal profile friends. But because our private group is a little more intimate, and I don't remember what the cutoff is because they keep changing it, um, I could check that and automatically invite all of the members. Seeing as this is a fake event, I'm not going to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Create Event. And just like that, our event is ready to go. But the next step is to set up the live video. So I'm gonna click that button, and it's gonna take me into Facebook Live Producer. So you have three different options within Facebook Live Producer in terms of how you're going to go live. One is the stream key, one is to use the camera, so this is just to use your built-in webcam, and then one is to use a paired encoder. So a paired encoder would be software like OBS Studio, which is a free software. Stream key would be using Zoom, and I'll show you how to do it with Zoom in just a second. And then camera's just your built-in webcam. You would come down here, choose the appropriate camera, the appropriate microphone, and if you wanted to, you could screen share. The downside of stream using the screen share tool here in Facebook Live is you either share your screen the whole time or your camera the whole time. There's no switching back and forth. So if you were just gonna use your camera, and this is by far the simplest solution, make sure it's selected, set everything here, and then just come over here, put in a title if you want, and a description, and then you would hit go live, and off you would go. That's it. 
Now the stream key is a little bit more complex, but not difficult at all. There are a lot of different tools out there. I use Restream.io with this. I use Zoom with this sometimes, and I'll link to those in the description of this video. But what you need to do is you need to match this server URL and stream key with the same information in whatever tool you're using. So since Zoom is one of the most popular tools on the planet, I'm gonna use that one to demonstrate. So now I'm in Zoom and I'm streaming, and I've got a full tutorial about how to go live on Facebook from Zoom in the description of this video. But I'm gonna click More, and I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna choose Live on Facebook, I'm gonna choose Live on Custom Live Streaming Service. Depending on your internet speed, this might take a few seconds. All right, I'm glad this error popped up. Now, if you've already gone live on Facebook in that group, then in that case, it may connect right away and start streaming to the Facebook event. However, it's not gonna start streaming live on Facebook yet. It's just gonna stream here into your setup. But you'll notice here, it said unable to live stream to the custom service, update the streaming URL and streaming key on the configuration page, then try again. So I'm gonna click that. And now I just need to go through and I need to copy the server URL from here. So I click copy. And then here's, they call it a streaming URL here. I'm gonna paste that one in. Then I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna copy the stream key here, paste that in. So now they're matching and I'm gonna hit go live. So it's gonna do the same thing again, but this time it should have the right information to go into our event. I go back over here to Facebook Live Producer, and then you can see that my Zoom stream, which looks like this right now, I'm not in front of that camera, is coming through. I can also scroll up and see it here. So now you know, there you can see the little Zoom icon in the corner. So now you know Zoom is streaming here, and at this point, you're ready to go. All you have to do then is hit go live. Then you could go back to Zoom, and use screen sharing or have a guest on if you have more than one person or any number of things. Everything that you can do in Zoom will then go to your Facebook Live. Now, some people like to make sure that the server URL and the stream key are up to date with Zoom or whatever you're using to stream from the day before just to make sure they're working. I usually just come in about 15 minutes before I go live and set it all up, but whatever you makes you more comfortable is fine. Then I come over here and I hit go live. And if I click into that event, there it is, streaming live right there at the top. So as soon as somebody clicks this event URL, and this is where you can promote in your email links or anywhere else on other social channels, it'll come right here and you'll be live right at the top of the event as well as down in the feed there. Well, I see we have a, a couple of people that uh, tuned in live. I'm just recording a demo about how to do Facebook Lives, but nice to see you guys uh, pop up anywhere. Anyway, so. That's the beauty of this Facebook Live, Facebook event integration is that it's super easy to point people, no more going, wait, where do I find it? The moment they load the event, the live is right there in front of them. All right, start solving the major social media frustrations and problems that business owners face with the social media quick fix guide. It's normally $19, but I'm offering it to my YouTube audience right now for free. You can go to the link on the screen or click the link in the description of this video. And if this was helpful, take a second, give this video a like. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home. And if you're looking for more help growing your business with social media, check out the video on the screen right now.